Hey, what? Charlie, you in here as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm in here as well. Oh, I skip. Why are you in it? What do you expect? I'm skipping it. I'm skipping maths. <laughs> that maths teacher's a prick, innit? Yeah, I know, man. That, that teacher's such a rascal with a no, pussy clock. Prick. Such a bummer clock. Dickhead. Hey, lads. Calm down. What? Did you not hear about the last time I told you like, about Nigel? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 I remember him, I remember him. Uh, what, you want me to finish it, yeah? Oh, yeah, you right, finish it, Let me tell it, you yeah. part two. All right! Now Nigel was living it up, concrete in the game, he wouldn't give up. Spend time writing bars and the rest getting goals. He smack a bitch if she weren't giving it up. Now Nigel was getting all the tricks and he knew every trick that lived in the bits. He, you can never laugh, but Nigel weren't up because he knew in the box it wasn't always like this. I bet you don't know what all the fuss is, but in a way you can call it justice. The Nigel girls were like bosses, he'd waited for one very, very long time, but now he was fucking them to her at time and he didn't even need no extra cup cause now Nigel had a little bit of status plus his name was on the lips of the haters yeah and most girls noticed Hayley was one of those girls that noticed fuck dedication to education only on Nigel disco focus she would do anything just to get him including voodoo and hocus pocus nah I'm having a laugh, but this girl claimed that she was in love And I ain't saying that it weren't true, but she didn't know what she was getting into Listen carefully, there's a clue, cause now Hayley had made her move She stuck around on him like blue, she stayed exclusive just like news But as time flew, Nigel knew that this girl was contagious like flu But let's be real now, that one a ting, cause a few months later It was spring and things got real hot like chicken wing When Nigel and Hayley had a little fling, but there was something he forgot to bring And one day he fought enough for that smart And the first thing he did was tell Hayley to darken He didn't really care for that little Love. Was you trying to bleed? He said no boss Nigel became cold, he became nuts Anyway, as the story unfolds Nigel's heart was now stone cold Winter came and the days got colder Now Nigel was considered as a loader Expectations were really high From the crew he had a lot on his shoulder He was an MC, but to some He was a gangster for what he done To that guy, in part one when he bricked him And didn't even run when he licked him And didn't need a gun, so He had a name, respect and fame And for being a top dog He had a claim to a top hustler Nigel BK Cause he still had a smart and brain Making Kendo became his aim and whether this was through MC or shorting It was all the same so he had passed his first day Where he was kind of a geek And he went through the second phase where he would go and eat He tested all the different ways to fucking go under the sheets Now Nigel was nearing his last page but I'll tell you more in part 3 Alright sir, thanks for that One out Hey Charlie, you coming out tonight? Yeah, yeah I've got a football match What? Still. Do you think it's over? Nah, he got a call from Hayley She said that she was having his baby What?